I got it bad. I got it bad. Hello, Justin How Bieber. Are you? I am really good, but I have to tell you this. I was so resistant to you, Justin. I got the whole baby, baby thing. Got it on my yeah. iPad. Got it. So I went to go see Never Say Never. LA had a special screening last mm. uh, Saturday. I walked out of that documentary and I called Laura Swanson at your record label and I said, what else has Justin done? I want everything he's done. I put it on my iPad, on my iPod. I went and bought a new purple dress in your honor because I'm nice. watching. I know it's your favorite color. Thank you so much. I'm a believer on my nails. Oh, I see it. I see it. <laughs> Please don't be afraid, young man. No, I'm really, not. really, I'm very normal. But this is the thing. I, I tell you why I was so fascinated with you. Because you are clearly so much more, and I, I really truly mean this. You are not just the flavor of the month. You are not just a little pop star. You have got extraordinary, extraordinary talent. Thank and you. I really didn't know that until I saw the film. You know, I knew that you were good. But when I look at your background, for instance, it opens with you getting a, a, a drum set mm -hmm. uh, that Christmas morning. And you open it up. And so clearly, you knew something very, very, a long time ago. This is you opening up your uh, drum. You, look at you. Uh, so there you are pounding on the drums. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you remember about that, Justin? Look at your face. I just remember being really happy that I was able to bang on something because I was always I was always hitting pots and pans and yeah. I never really had a real drum. So I was so excited and it's so funny that you said um, like that you didn't know that I could actually. I know because I didn't. Um, actually I was uh, sitting I was at a basketball game and Chris Rock came come up to me. He was there. I was at the same screen and he yeah. said he said. I didn't know you could sing. Yeah. What do you say when people say, I didn't know you could sing? I, I, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad to, to show people that, you know, I'm really a musician. I, I've yes. always loved music, and it's definitely, it's just been my passion. Yes. You know, not only that, this is another thing that I like, that you have worked so hard. That's the thing. This wasn't just an overnight thing for you. That you have worked really hard to get to this yeah. moment. Yeah, I I, uh, I traveled all around, going to different radio stations, promoting myself, trying to get people to believe in me. Yeah. And uh, it, I'm a believer, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah. And it, I, it paid off. Like all the hard work. I think that as long as you as you work hard and always follow your dreams, that and you know anything can come true. Do you worry about being able to stay grounded because you are? enormous you are enormous do you worry about that um i don't worry about staying grounded because of the team that i've surrounded myself and with with the good people that are just so focused on not just my career but making me that a good you. person yeah. yeah and so that i don't i don't think it's going to be hard well there's a part that you said i really do just want to be a normal kid yeah I you're think, not a normal kid though i i think do I, you I don't i get i get like i get frustrated because when people say that like I don't. I do abnormal things, but at the end of the day, I'm still a normal I'm still, kid. I'm still yeah, a normal and I still, kid. I still do everything um, that a normal person does. I still have to wake up. I eat breakfast. And <laughs> yeah, just normal. You know, there's a thing in the documentary where you have to make your bed. Mm -hmm. But this is what I like about you: is that you are able to do great music. But you you still have a mischievous side to you. There's yeah. a great thing where Mama Jane, your voice coach, says, "Now you haven't done anything to strain your voice." You go, "Nope, I haven't done anything." Then they cut to you screaming and hollering with your friends. Yeah. So I like the fact that you are not a goody goody two shoes. Mm -hmm. That that you can still be mischievous. You can still be a boy. Yeah. And still have a good time. Yeah, I think it's just about balance and that that balance um, where you you gotta be. You just gotta always be yourself, and you can't just put on a show uh -huh. for people. You just always have to remain humble and just be yourself. And I, I know, you know, everyone's gonna make mistakes. Everyone makes bad decisions. You are aware that you might make a mistake or two. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I think I'm human, so yes. that's gonna happen. But it's about learning from them and just becoming better. Could we just not make a mistake that involves police activity? Yeah. <laughs> Could, how about yeah. we do that? Could we just yeah. make a mistake that doesn't involve police activity where yeah. people go, what the hell? Uh -huh. But this is the thing. At the screening the other night in New York, the big screening that you had and you made the appearance, I had a friend of mine who was there with his daughter. Mm -hmm. And he said at one point you got up and you were talking to the audience and you were thanking the parents. Mm -hmm. You were thanking the parents about... Uh, helping you with Bieber fever or something, I wasn't there, <laughs> and that the, it meant a lot to the parents that you reached out to them, that you were trying to say something about, I don't really want to disappoint you, I don't want to let you down, mm -hmm. but you wanted to acknowledge them. I thought that was really nice. Yeah, I think the parents are, are a lot, they help the kids, they go out and they, they buy them the CD and they're really supportive, so uh, I, yeah, I definitely want to thank them too and everybody who supports me. There's a great scene where uh, your team goes out and you give tickets to people who have either the nosebleed seats or people that don't have yes. seats. And there's a really nice moment where they go, Scooter goes and there's a, a family. 
and the look on the father's face because he's so happy about his daughter being able to move into the front row. Mm -hmm. Why is that important for you guys to do? I think it just makes people happy without without making people's lives and, and just helping other people. Like like Scooter said, we don't have jobs. It's like that's that's you don't what feel we're like this do. is a job. I feel like no, I think that this is work, but it you're not really doing we're not doing our job because like at the end of the day if you're not you're not happy and making other people's ha happy it's not worth it. And then they go to Scott cut number three. You like making people smile? Yeah. Cut number three. Do you know this song? You smile, I smile. Uh oh. You smile, I smile. <laughs> Sing it. Okay, come on. You smile, I smile. You're killing it. I know it. But aren't I? You're killing it. Are you impressed? I'm impressed. Maybe you want to come on no. the road and do my backup singing? Justin, don't tease me. Uh, Do not tease me. The thing, this is what happened. The whole documentary is built to you selling out Madison Square Garden. The thing about that is they have legends. They have icons yeah. that have not had this moment at Madison Square Garden. Julie, let me see the, um, this one. This is a Lego. I'm a frustrated singer. Please don't be afraid. I know I can't afraid. sing. So what was it like? I want you to think about this for a second because you're the only one in the room who can answer this. You're coming up in the ball. You're at Madison friggin' Square Garden, mm -hmm. and every, which you sold out, by the way, in 20-something minutes. Mm -hmm. What was it? 20, what was it? I think it was 22 minutes. Okay, 22 minutes, give or take. You sold out in 22 minutes, and now you come up through the floor. The people are screaming your name. I want to know what that moment was like. And Justin's going to tell us right after the break. I'm not letting him go. He's going to stay for another segment. You'll stay for another segment. I will. So I'll stay as long as you want me to stay. Oh, don't tease me. Justin Bieber right after the break. How'd he feel that day, Madison Square Garden? We'll be right back.